Greetings, ghouls! Hi, guys. Welcome to a special Deadsville、uh, crafting episode. Spooky, sexy crafting with Maddie Morningstar and Ronan James. She'll be the sexy, I'll be the spooky. <laughs> Absolutely. All right.、Yeah. So, this, this attire that she's wearing is totally not suitable for crafting. Yes, if you're crafting at home, do not wear this. No, <laughs> not at all. But we're doing spooky, sexy crafting, so it was necessary it was to wear necessary. this outfit for your crafting、uh, video enjoyment, right? Exactly. All right. Yes. So. But don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, the lovely Maddie Meek. Uh, AKA Maddie Morningstar, the newest fear leader in Deadsville. She's also our puppeteer and、uh, she does lots of different things in the crafting world as well, as you've seen probably in some of our other、uh, videos or some of the other content.、Uh, but today we're going to do a little set deck crafting, right? I guess that, that's what you would Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> so we're, we're here on set two in Deadsville Studios. And if you notice, this,、uh, oh, by the way, I'm Deadsville director Ronan James, longtime stuntman, stunt coordinator, second unit director, now director and producer of content, yada, yada, yada. And uh, uh, also man of many faces. Watch the videos. You'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, so today.、Uh, Well, before, if you've seen, this was given to us by our buddy TJ. And this is the Ghoulsville 3D Horror Decor、uh, Toxic Bride from Retro A Go Go. And、uh, yes, this has been hanging on our wall here on set two. These are jumbo, old school、uh, formed masks. Uh, It's like a vacuum form kind of plastic with a. We have like a cardboard backing on the back of it. Yes. So, the, for decorative purposes, not to be worn as a, an actual mask. Right. It's meant、um, to go on the wall. And thank you for this, TJ, by the way. Yes, it looks wonderful on the wall. And yeah, if you've seen some of the videos recently,、uh, it has been on the wall here behind us on set two. We've been using it in the backdrop on a bunch of stuff. And、uh, recently, I guess Steph Infection shared a picture, and, and the awesome people from Retro Go Go commented and liked the picture, and I guess shared it maybe or something. Yeah, so,、uh, she said something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, they, 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 <laughs> they like that we have it here in our. I don't know if they like Dirk Darkly using it with some of the stuff he does, but、well, I guess、maybe. we'll see. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes,、uh, but either way,、uh, they gave us a bit of a shout out, I guess, on their page. So,、uh, big shout out to Retro Go Go and Ghoulsville. Be sure to check them out. We'll put links in the、uh, description. And you can find them on all your social medias. And、uh, I'm sure they have a website, retrogogo.com, probably, I would suspect. But this is a ready to hang retro style mask, enlarged monstrous proportions. Enlarged to monstrous proportions. So, yes, vacutastic plastic, they call it here on the back. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so,、uh, and then you'll see on the back, it's got the、uh, cardboard backing. And there's like a little、uh, Ghoulsville 3D horror decor. Little、uh, top hat skeleton guy here. Yeah, I love that they、Oof. have a stamp on the back of it. I think that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. And、uh, Vacutastic Plastic is trademarked as well, or Vactastic. Okay, sorry. Vactastic Plastic, I was, mis、oh, I was mispronouncing. <laughs> But、uh, this is 2022, and、uh, there you have it. So. That's what we're working with today. And, and what are we doing with it, Maddie Morningstar? So, we're going to be putting lights so her eyes glow.、Ooh. We're going to be putting some,、uh, some paper behind it so it has a、uh, kind of like the lights won't be coming right out of it, it'll have a kind of diffused effect.、Um, so, that should be really cool. It's going to. It's going to really make it exciting, and I'm very, I'm very look, much looking forward to it. It'll be very spooky. Very spooky. And you, we can make the,、um, the lights any color we want, too. So you can change the color of、uh, what color her eyes glow. So yeah, that's really cool. So, yeah, we, we talked about the mask and where you can find these. And they have different ones,、um, they have different types of masks, different characters.、Uh, 
But if you wanted to do something like this, we're going to show you how we do it, how Maddie does it. We brought the tools and the uh, uh, the lights and all. We'll go over that. And Maddie, if you want to show them the lights real quick, if you want to break that out and just kind of yeah, let's let's show them the lights first. So this is we'll put the link to this in the description as well. We got these on Amazon, right? Uh, eBay. Oh, eBay. Okay, we got so, these on eBay. So we have these strip lights here, which we're going to be putting in the cardboard. We're going to be taking her apart and um, we'll be putting the lights on the inside of the cardboard. Um, so this is really cool. You can cut this to any size you need because it comes very, very long. Um, we got the one with the remote control, but you can get it with just like a controller attached to the wires as well. Um, but we wanted the remote, so that's the option that we went with. Um, and it's multicolor. It's uh, oh, yeah, it RGB, so it has all different colors. It has all the different colors on here. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... There's also different modes. There's strobes and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, right? you can make it flash. You can make it strobe. Um, it has, like, slow, like, Pulsating, fade effects yeah, and yeah. things like that, too. Yeah, these are um, some... You see these things a lot, like uh, the LED, the cool LED strip lights. Yeah, I mean, I've seen them in stores, um, but I have found that the one on eBay that I found works the best and it's the cheapest. I think I paid like $11 for this. Nice. And it has a battery pack as well, which uh, we'll show you how to install that into the mask as well. That's going to be a process as well. But um, yeah, so that's the lights that we're working with. All right. Awesome. All right, so what else will we need? We're going to put these lights into this mask and... Uh, you said we want to make the eyes glow with a diffused effect, so we have the... Right, so we have freezer paper. Now this looks like something you would use for food, but it's actually not. This is actually meant for um, making a stencil for a t-shirt. Oh. So that's what this is for, but I like it because it has a, a wax side and it has a soft side, and I know, like the, the side that's just paper that isn't wax is easier to glue onto things, okay. which is nice. Yeah, 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 that um, makes sense. But yes, people in cosplay use <laughs> freezer paper as well to uh, diffuse LEDs and things of that sort. Um, you could also get away with wax paper that's pretty close to this um, because I've had quite a hard time finding this in stores. I've had this for years because I I wanted to save it, hold on to it because it is harder to find. But if you can find wax paper, it's almost like the same thing. But wax paper is coated on both sides? So it's a little um, harder to glue. Is that the issue, or is I think it? yeah. If I'm remembering correctly, that's that's what it is with that. Like if if you take a look, like one side's paper, one side is wax. Right. Uh, cool. But uh, if you can find freezer paper, I would recommend that. But you could probably get away with with wax paper or parchment paper because I think that's actually yeah parchment that paper. That would be, would be good too. that would be paper on both sides. Yeah. But uh, yes, the less wax, the better. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. All right, so what else do we have here real quick? Show everybody else what they'll need to bring or so, have um, handy. What you'll need handy, you'll need a... First thing you'll need is the... Or, well, for starting out, we're going to need a staple remover. She has about eight staples in, in her face that we need to take out. <laughs> but we will be stapling her back together once we're done with everything. So have a staple remover, and you're going to need a stapler as well. Getting her out of the package here. Get ready to play, Toxic Bride. No, oh, I'm, I'm... So toxic. Oh, you're so toxic. <laughs> this is a toxic relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, I'm silly. You silly boy. <clears throat> All right. So, okay, yeah, I do see the staples though, along I, the I believe here. there are eight that we have to take out. So, all right. Uh, so do you pull from this side? Um, I so usually pull from the front, but I want to pull from the back just because I don't want to mess anything up. All right, so we're going to try to take these staples out from the back. Um, we don't want to mess up the front of it, so we want to start pulling from the back of the staples. So we got the back off. Got her open. And now we want to next step. So our next step is we're going to put the freezer paper behind her eyes. We're just going to start out with that. What you want to do with that is you're really you're really just cutting off 
a piece a little bit bigger than the, than the eye socket. We're gonna shape it later. I'm just gonna cut pieces out. The glue's kind of giving us trouble, huh? Yeah, the super glue doesn't want to cure as fast as it normally does. I don't know if it's because it's Gorilla brand or if it's plastic. I mean, you don't know what glue's gonna work with what until you try it. Yeah, the so vacuum it's, form it's, is And it's very slick. smooth as well. So, even easier than gluing shit down. We should have thought of this in the first place because you don't I, even see the thing. Even, you don't, don't see even it. need glue. You don't need glue. You don't need glue. We you literally can tape the pieces you inside the mask. You can just tape it right in there. Go ahead, I'll let you do the honors. I, I like to check my progress as I'm going just to see how everything looks on the front. Ooh, and if you like how it looks, you keep going. If not, you know, you take your tape up and you try it again and reposition it and see what works for you. All right, so our eyes are taped in. And, uh, yes, the wonders of scotch tape. Scotch tape is a wonderful thing. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. All right, so next step. Maddie, what are we doing next? Oh, uh, it looks like... Battery pack bracket? Yep, that's... That's what we're doing next. So, um, I'm using something that might not be readily available for people. This is EVA foam or L200, which is what I use for cosplay armor and things of that sort. But you can use cardboard for this as well. I feel like that would be something that you might have around the house already but I just, I have a ton of this stuff, so this is what I'm gonna be using, but you could totally use cardboard or anything that you can just hold a battery pack in. Down by your mouth, it should be, I guess, be right in there. Yeah, you think that's a good spot? Like, I don't know if it has to be perfectly centered or not. No, you can bring it up a little bit too, give it a little, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna trace around it, so we know where it's gonna go. Have a simple little box and we're going to cut this out. So you'll need a cutting board and you'll need an X-Acto knife. Look at that little panel. Yeah. It's like a little, it's like a little door. <laughs> a door to my heart. <laughs> This, I don't think, I think I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do for this, I'm going to cut on the outside of the Sharpie marks just so we have a little bit more uh, to play with. All right, we're back and what do we have here? So we have four pieces of EVA foam here um, that we just cut out all the same size. We just took the long edge of the battery pack and we just traced that on the foam and cut it out. Uh, we realized that when we, make a, when we make a bracket out of this, they're, they're pretty much exactly the size we need to have everything fit. If so we the just, same, yeah. They're all the same um, and that's all you're gonna need. And we decided since, you know, you have a limited amount of, uh, amount of space, in uh, the inside of the mask, so we decided our back piece is going to be made out of cardboard instead of foam. So we have the beginning of our frame here, which I just super glued to the cardboard, which works pretty well. Yeah. Better than it did with the plastic. Um, so what you're going to want to do is after you have everything glued down, we also, we also glued um, the seams here where all of the ed edges meet. Uh, but we also have a divot that we cut here so our wire can run through freely. Um, and that's, that's just like a little notch right there that we cut out. So it's gonna, so make sure when you put your battery pack in, it's going to be face down. So you'll be able to um, Turn use the switch off. from the outside. So that's how it lays in there. I actually might cut this a little bit deeper, but um, that's pretty much where we're at right now. All right, so we have our battery pack in our frame here and something that we noticed, which is very important, um, you wanna put your battery pack in there before you put your back piece on because otherwise 
your wire, you're not going to be able to get it in there with the wire coming through our notch. So you want to make sure that that is in there before you put your back piece on. All right, so make sure the switch is facing out. Like yes, switch is facing out, so you're able to access it from access our little it. door flippy. Yes, our little door flippy. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's scotch tape it. There we go. Boom. Yeah. All right. Double it up. A little scotch tape. A little super that'll, glue. That'll keep everything together. That's gonna Keeps hold it, it all, all in down. place. Yep. You know, as a crafter, you know we're we're told not to use tape or glue or cardboard or anything like that. So breaking tape doesn't come to mind. You know, breaking all the rules. We're breaking all the rules right now. So what happens when you're crafting with Ronin? <laughs> You break all the rules. Sexy, spooky crafting. <laughs> or was it spooky, sexy? I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Oh. There's a lot of tape. A lot of tape is good. Yeah, you are not holding back on the tape. No. <laughs> we will fast forward this part with all this tape. But you'll have a nice, solid structure. <laughs> yes, solid. She likes, she likes a nice, solid structure. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Woo! Twirls mustache. <laughs> no. <laughs> no twirls mustache. <laughs> All right. All right. Now we have a very solid structure. <laughs> we have a very solid structure, just like Maddie Morningstar likes it. Solid structure. There you see it. So now we need to figure out where they're going to line up. All in this range. So they're going to be yeah. like here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, this whole area here is fair game. And we want our lights to look. So we spread them out a little bit so the whole face would glow instead of the eyes. So now you get the whole thing kind of lighting up when it's... Uh, there and we'll, you'll see it better once we once we have it on stapler the wall. and put her on the wall so here we go again so here we go we got our little notch in here yeah we put a notch well she put a notch in the little plastic uh, the cardboard so you could grab it and pull it open I would definitely recommend putting a notch in because <laughs> we it took us a minute to get it open so Definitely add a little notch in there with, you know, scissors or exacto blade, whatever you have. Oh yeah, you see the battery pack fits right inside and you can close it up. And if you don't play with it too much, maybe put some tape around it to reinforce the spot where you'll be pulling it back and forth. But, uh, but yeah, we're good. We are on. Yeah, we are ready to go. We can put her up on the wall. All right, boo believers, we're back. And we're going to turn the power on. We after, are. After many adjustments and many hours of fucking doing this, we finally I, got it done. We got it done to where we're happy with it. Teamwork makes the dream work, it right? It absolutely does. Yeah. All right, here we go. Without further ado. Woo! Woo Look at her lighting up. Look at that bitch light up. <laughs> and we can go with some green or some red or some yellow, which looks like green. It looks very much like green. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's probably because she's green, so you can't really so see it. Yeah, it makes it more green. <laughs> some blue. Woo. We got some blue and some I purple. I like the blue. The purple looks good. I too. really love that purple. Yeah. That looks purple wonderful. Looks really yep. And then we can do the white, it just lights her up a little bit. The, the eyes really pop with the white. If I'm, I'm looking in the monitor over here. Yeah, that looks good eyes too. Eyes really pop with the yeah, white. Yeah, it looks cool. That looks good. Very cool, very happy with this. So there you have it, boo believers. And then we can also put on our strobe effect, which is a uh, pew. Woo, strobe, it's a party. It's a monster party up in here. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the fade, which I prefer the fade. I like the fade too. This one just goes in 10, I know. I guess it just up in, yeah, it pulsates. Ooh, oh, and this one's like randomized. 
Woo so is the all, randomized. It's all flashy. <laughs> <laughs> so, very cool. I do like the uh, pulsating one, though, and slow it down, so it kind of slowly changes behind us. Very cool looking indeed. Super cool. There it is. <clears throat> all right. Well, once again, thanks to... Retro a go go and the Ghoulsville 3D horror decor. Make sure you check them out. Links are in the description. Uh, the links will be in the description for the lights. And uh, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, send pictures if you have one of these of your own. Let's see your character. And uh, yeah, if you found this little crafting tutorial helpful or entertaining, Please make sure to come back for more and, uh, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. Yeah. And if you want us to do more of this, let us know. If you want to see us do more crafting adventures, crafting we absolutely, adventures. absolutely will. Woo! Mm -hmm. All right. That's going to do it for tonight. We will uh, see you all again soon. Bye. I don't have a catchphrase yet, so goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And stay spooky for me, Boo Believers. <laughs> see you soon.